Welcome to the new video. So today we're going to buy the new Rumor ZZ. Let's see, I have $2.2 million. I know I'm not going to be richer. But let's buy it. Let's buy a blue because it's Corvette C color. Let's send it to my auto shop. We're going to remove it over the Banshee. So I do not eat that. Alright. See you in the next clip. Alright, here is ZZ8. In my opinion, it's the worst looking muscle car in IRL and in GTA. It just doesn't look the greatest. Personally, I'd rather have like a... Uh, what is it called? The green one rather than this. So, yeah. Let's drive to my auto shop in a minute. Sounds nice. I use a modern tool in the 90s muscle car. This is the normal room. I just come up in a bit. We should have just got rid of this car to the room for the exit. I really don't think it is. This is possibly the worst one for me. It is a third of the second class. I have four classes. Plus four classes. You're on McDonald's boards, like the boards that you drive. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not very dangerous. Um, we get that out of the street, we're almost passing to his cars. Jeez, I've really not seen this. Alright, this car is based on uh, Pontiac Firebird uh, Trans Am GTO. First, I'm not a fan of the IRL, but let's customize it. First, armor, brakes, bumpers. So far, I'm not seeing any that I like. Okay, that one's nice. I don't want to put that on my calico one, but that's just the nicest bumper in GTA. Like, these bumpers are not the greatest. There's only one that I like, it's a vintage splitter. Rear bumpers. Again, not any that I like. I like the rear splats, but we're gonna go vented painted. Engine exhaust. You may hate me for exhaust I'm gonna put on this car, but when I was customizing this, it looks so lit dark with this car. My auto shop. I'm gonna leave stock hood. I'm literally about to leave stock hood. That's the best hood. Really, uh, late stock. Alright. Since Trans Am have like the Firebird thing, I'm gonna put the Firebird on this car. Again, I'm not really a fan of this car. Mud guards, you know I love my mud guards. They look so clean on this car. Put my TGCC8 plate. Crew spray. Crew, yes, I made a custom crew color for it. If you guys want to know the hex code, just ask me in the comment section. I uh, will tell you the hex code. Roof. Uh, again, I'm going to leave it stock. Skirts. You do need a skirt to match up with the uh, front bumper. I know I shouldn't match up the rear bumper, but I didn't bother looking at that. Alright. I'm not putting sun strip on this car. If I don't like the car, usually I rice it out like the Corsita. Okay, that's a nice ductile spoiler. What's up with these big wings? This would be nice for a big wing car me. Suspension, drop it down. Transmission, trunk. Why would we be able to change our trunk? Turbo, wheel. You guys may hate the wheels that I put on here, but I was between the modern mesh and the Ford Star, which I don't have. None of the Ford Stars unlocked. Let's go Super Lux. And let's put them in Stone Silver. Tire lettering, no thank you. We're not putting bulletproof tires. I'm not that kind of person to put bulletproof tires. 
They're not blacking out the car, it just doesn't look very nice. As you can tell, it's a pretty nice build, but would I recommend buying it? No. Would I recommend guys wait until the Camaro comes out? Yes. I really don't know about this car. If you have like millions of dollars, buy it. But don't buy it for a reason. Like, you know, solar Bet you we got that hellfire as fast as this thing. This thing has no brakes. This thing has no steering. This is not a good car. The way I make that money in GTA, it's not worth it. Don't you know if you can't pick up these two characters because of the one you guys in the I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know if I can do it. Like, I know from like two years later. But when I went to buy this car, it's too far away from that. I just spun out. That was not who the pin was. So, what's up to you if you guys want to buy this car? This car is 1.32 euro. I don't know if I'll recommend it. And it, I think it looks a bit tired. Alright. And I will not be doing a review on the Porting Car because I already have a review on my channel of it. Alright. That engine looks like it's from a Tuner's DLC car. So, not really the greatest. A modern tier inside a 90s car. Really rock star. Very good texture quality for the trunk. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of this year. So we're going to drive to the customers. I really don't know about this car, though. They're not fan of it, not playing Christmas Eve. It's only like one of the best stuff that I can do with each I'm pretty well for the Camaro build, but like, I don't know. You guys can go watch it, like, watch how you do it, like, try to make it even go to this game show before this car. I mean, it is, because I'm not going to play it. You know, it does two same colors in combat, so that's what I'm doing. But this car, I just don't recommend it because, you know, it is cheap, but it's not that cheap. It's cheaper than the Buffalo SQL. And the new Camaro is more expensive, so it's not a major heavy upgrade. So, yeah, hopefully you guys don't waste money on this and see it for the Camaro. Because this thing is just not worth it. It's slow, doesn't paint the wall, doesn't break well. What's wrong with her now? And yeah. Better than new. So let's take a thumbnail shot. If you haven't already, please subscribe.